Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dreadamatoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to CrazyBoss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go and sign my description below and go check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the alternative pistol drawer inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require the latest version for native UI so make sure that you do download native UI then we can get straight into the video so once you have finished downloading all of your files and installing all of the requirements go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location next if you do not have one go and right click then go to new then go to folder and create our scripts folder and name it scripts and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder and now make sure that you do open up your native UI extract folder and now install your native UI.dll and .xml inside your scripts folder. Next, open up your pistol drawer extract folder and open up this folder then select your DLL and INI file and now drag it inside your scripts folder that's all you gotta do then exit out of your extract folder go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and now we are here with Franklin so we are in the game and our game did not crash so once you're in the game, you can simply just walk out, okay? And now you can just only pull out a pistol. Now you can see the emanation when Franklin pulls out a pistol from his back. Now you can only use a pistol. It will not work on your um, assault rifles or uh, RPG. It can only work on pistols. So go to pistol, then there you go. Then put it back in. And then there you go. Now you can change to another pistol if you want to. Then there you go. So this emanation is pretty cool. And now you can run and now change it as well at the same time. And then there you go. So you run, change at the same time. And then there you go. And then there you go. So this mod does work 100%. And I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. Welcome back. So I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. But like always, if you do get stuck installing this, then please let me know in the comments. And I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. I will leave the developer's Discord server inside my description below. So go and check that out for more help and support as well. If you guys do need help or support for any other mods, then please let me know in the comments. And now I will leave my Discord server inside my description below as well for more help and support for any other mods. Okay, guys. So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.